free. It's avail available for Apple and Android devices. Now we want to get to the latest on that murder suicide that we have been following all day for you. A man and woman found dead outside a house near 5th and Botsford. Friends say the woman was in a bad relationship, was desperate to leave, but her boyfriend, a cab driver, apparently had other ideas. Brandon Cruz is live on the South Side. He's got the very latest. Well, good evening, Ann. You know, this is a very quiet neighborhood. Neighbors tell us. They say hi to one another. We've seen a lot of people walking their dogs up and down the street here. But this morning around 9, it was a much different scene. Shots rang out. Soon after that, two people were dead, and police were all over the scene. Shock, total shock. Just before 9 Monday morning, Gail Glasser says she heard three shots in the neighborhood near 5th and Botsford and saw a neighbor running towards this house. About the same time, William Peters received a text message to call his wife as soon as possible. I called her and there was a shooting. Yeah, I got scared right away. He quickly raced home and saw a body in a van and another on the ground in the driveway across the street. Tape everywhere, <laughs> cops everywhere news <laughs> everywhere so I mean it was it was crazy. She texted my wife saying that she was going to be running a little late. I don't know how my wife found out but she rushed over here and there it was. One of the victims, a 39-year-old female, worked with Dewan Scroggins' wife at a loan company. I thought everything was all was working out for her but I guess it wasn't. Scroggins and another friend of hers, Antonio Greer, were aware of problems in the woman's relationship. I know she was having problems with her boyfriend. I mean, she was in a troubled relationship. She just wanted out. The other person, a 41 year old man believed to be the shooter, drove a cab. The cab company says he recently returned to driving after taking a month off, which they say isn't unusual. Also, Milwaukee County court records show he had been charged with child abuse in 2012, allegedly beating his teenage daughter because he believed she told his girlfriend that he fathered a child with another woman. Now, the family and friends like Scroggins' wife are left to pick up the pieces. Couldn't believe it. Like, why did this have to happen to her? You know? And balloons had been left on the door by the female victim's former sister in law. She did that earlier this evening. Now, police say that tomorrow they will release a lot more information, which should include the names of the two people found dead here tonight. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brandon Cruz, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Brandon. A Racine man facing a slew of charges, and police say it all started with a domestic incident. They say